This is a demonstration on how to make a, a simple little website on JS Fiddle. First you go to jsfiddle.net. And then your website, you probably have a heading at the top. We do that with an H1 tag. And when I make tags, I usually make the first and the last tag right at the, right at the same time, the close, opening and the closing tag at the same time, because then I won't forget. And then in between those two, I'm going to type um, my content of my website. I'm going to call it Minnesota Summers. Okay, so now I have um, an opening tag, a closing tag, and some text in between it. Now I hit Run. And there I see, now I see the result. I have a headline, Minnesota Summers, right? Um, now I'm going to add like a subtitle from my little web, my little web page here. I'm going to put that into H2 tags. And note that I'm typing in the HTML section of JS Fiddle. So I'm going to call this an article. about the beauty of the lakes. Okay, so now I have an opening tag, a closing tag, and some text in the middle, and I'm, I'm gonna hit the run button. And now I see I have a headline and I have a, a subheading, an H1 and an H2. Next, I'm going to um, put some text in my article here. So I'm gonna create some P tags, oops. Yeah, I'm opening and closing them all at once so that that way I won't make a mistake. Okay, now I'm going to cut and paste some text I got from Wikipedia for my little web page here. Copy. And now I have a whole paragraph about Minnesota Lakes here. I'm going to run that and see how it looks. Kind of starting to look like a website, right? And um, and then at the bottom of my reps website, I'm going to put a, this is called a horizontal rule. You just do, um, it's just HR. You don't open and close it. It's called a self-closing tag. You don't have to open and close it like I did with the H1, the H2, and the P tag. It's a HR tag. Now I'm going to run it. You'll see what that does. And that made a nice little line here, right? And underneath that, I'm going to add, oh, just a little footer. I'm going to put it in small. So instead of a P, I'm just calling it small, and that shows um, a little smaller text. Oh, and you know, I'm gonna cut and paste that over as well, but I'm gonna follow my process here and open and close it before I go on here. I'm gonna cut and paste that in because it's a URL. It's hard to type out a URL. So I'm gonna be right back with that. And so my source for this article is Wikipedia. Um, I have it in my small tags. I open and close them. I run it. And there we go. We have a small little website.